Attention all 6th graders, Wednesday, March 21st, from 6 to 8 p.m., all 6th grade homerooms will compete in a friendly competition to decide which homeroom is the most spirited, shows the most sportsmanship, and who is the overall champion. Ignite Leaders will be giving you more information on Monday at Hiller Block. It's going to be a fun night. Hope to see you there. Hello, HMS. Welcome to HMS Today. I'm your host, Anish. I almost thought we'd never have a show again, but here we are. And here is Mr. Keller with a new Minute with the Principal. Good morning. Joining us today are Ms. Brummett and Morgan McAuliffe, and we're here to talk about the Scholastic Art Awards. Morgan won a coveted prize in the Scholastic Art Awards. So, Ms. Brummett, I want to start with you. Can you tell us a little bit about the Scholastic Art Awards? Sure. So, the Scholastic Art Awards are a national competition in which students can enter either pieces of creative writing or um, artworks, and they get judged by a variety of different types of judges, art, all art and uh, writing people. Um, and you can win different types of awards that you can put on college applications and things like that. Um, and then you get recognized at a more local venue by having your artwork up um, for people to see. And so Morgan, uh, uh, can you talk a little bit about your piece that you did? Uh, the picture I submitted was a foggy day with grass that was detailed and the fog was coming with dirt on the ground. And um, what inspired me was the word that um, I got from digital art, which was pleasant, which shows it shows it in the picture, with no people around, just very calm, setting. Morgan, you got the silver key. Congratulations on that. Can you tell us a little bit about that, Miss Brummett? Sure. So there's um, three different awards that you can get: a gold key, a silver key, and then an honorable mention. So silver key is fabulous. That's awesome. Nice work, and thank you, Ms. Brummett, for uh, putting forward our student work to be recognized in this fashion. Thanks all, and now let's hear about what is in Mr. Mazur's book bag. So the latest book I read, or a recent one, was Born to Run, um, and the reason I read it is because I ran the Boston Marathon last year. Can you give us a brief summary? This book is about ultramarathoners, people who run more than 100 to 200 miles, and it's a story about um, a secret tribe in Mexico who run for fun. They'll run in canyons for 100, 200 miles just um, as part of their culture. And they had this amazing mega race where the best athletes in the world went down to Mexico to race these super culture. What did you like most about the book? They had um, really amazing characters, just regular people who decide to run one day and they end up running 100 miles, 200 miles. One of the main runners in the book, the best runner in the world long distance wise, happened to be at one of the marathon um, Pre, pre-conference things that I was able to go to, and I got to take a picture of, of this character. His name is Scott, and this is one of the racers who went down to Mexico to, to race that, um, that, that culture that I was telling you about. Thanks for sharing that book with us. Awesome. Be sure to check it out. And for more on writing, here's a segment on a new opportunity for m- middle schoolers called This I Believe. In our writing class, we wrote essays about what we believe in it to submit to a website called This I Believe. However, the website is no longer accepting essays. Writing those essays was not only fun, but it was really cool and kind of inspiring to get your thoughts out. So we decided to make our own website called HMS This I Believe. We want to express what you believe in through the power of writing. Your beliefs and ideas are important. When you let your beliefs be known, they will inspire others and make the world better. Share what you believe in. People want to read it. Visit the HMS This I Believe website for info on how to submit your essay. At the end of every month, each student's submission will be entered into a drawing to win Hopkinton gear, like a water bottle, t-shirt, or hat. We can't wait to see what you write. We'll be having lots more with these folks, so stay tuned and visit their website and write something. But for now, let's check in with question of the day. Shifty Chefs. The Chefs. Moisty Meyer. Greasy Grove. Dusty Depot. Yonder Yards, coming soon. Junk Junction. Tilted Towers. Containers. Tomato Town. Tilted Tower. Snobby Shores. Tilted Towers. Tilted. Tilted. (laughs) Greasy Grove. Loot Lake. Retail Row. Retail Row. Tilted Towers! If you don't know the game, sorry, come back next week for a question that will actually make sense. Now it looks like it's time for the birthday scroll.
Happy birthdays! And that brings us to Have You Seen This? This is your chance to win our HCAM water bottle, which will make you very happy, just like these kids. And just so you know, we only have two of these left, and then no more. So here's what we're going to do. We will pick a random winner like we always do, but we're also going to give a bottle to the first person to email us, the right location. So good luck, here's a picture of somewhere in the school. Have you seen this? Send us an email by next Wednesday morning for a chance to win. And find all our content on our website and send comments and HYST entries to HMSTV at Hillers.org. Until next week, study hard.